Hello, 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 everybody. You are tuning back into The Mythic Couch. Probably YouTube's number one most underdeveloped Magic the Gathering show. And as you can see here, I have a bunch of different packs right here from Core 21, War of the Spark, and the Ravnica's. Now, before we get started with all of these, I have a pretty some pretty neat announcements. Uh, the main one being, um, I have an editor now, and that editor happens to be my lovely woman. Say hello, my lovely woman. Hi! Yeah, yeah. And also, so now that I do have an editor, I can now put up uh, prices of, like, the rares, mythics, and foils, and any other, like, pricey or expensive uh, commons and uncommons. So that's pretty exciting. And uh, please note, any prices that are show up are current to when the show is uploaded. So, say like, there's a sh like one of the episodes that's uploaded like yesterday and like a card was worth like $5, but then like three days later, it's like worth $7. It's kind of, the prices are relevant to the show, um, when, when it was uploaded. But anyways, with those announcements out of the way, let's get into cracking some packs. Uh, first one that we're gonna do, uh, war, let's, let's do War of the Spark, you know, uh, especially because, uh, there was a ban, in, ban announcement, uh, today, surprised me a little bit, I was at work, and, um, just chilling, and I was, uh, on my lunch, and I saw on YouTube that there's a new ban announcement, I was like, what? So I head over to, um online to see what it was all about and sure enough there was a ban announcement and uh they banned quite a, a quite a lot of cards too they banned see the uh, cauldron familiar with well, standard cauldron familiar wilderness reclamation happy about that one <laughs> not gonna lie and teferi i think there's another one but i'm not quite sure and then in pioneer they cracked down real hard on the combo decks let me tell you what they got inverter they got the um underworld breach they got kethis which i'm really sad about that one and bam ooh, mythic number one god eternal ronis Ooh, that's a good one right there see what this little dude is it is a five mana zombie god or a five mana five five zombie god a legendary creature Nice. He has Death Touch, and when God Eternal Ronas enter the battlefield, double the power of each other creature you control until end of turn. Those creatures gain vigilance until end of turn. And also he has when God Eternal Ronas dies or is put into exile from the battlefield, you may put it into its owner's library third from the top. Wow, that's a pretty good one to start off this video. Let me tell you what. Put that little duder right there. Yeah, but anyway, that was like... Is that working? I was just like, whoa, this ban announcement. It's crazy. They banned so many cards. And you know what? I think that um, the combo decks, like especially the uh, the more prominent ones, such as Lotus Breach, Kethis Combo, and like Inverter of Truth, you know, since they basically took away the main pieces of those combo decks, that now, like, I hope, like, more mid range decks. Like Soltai mid range or like Naya mid range or whatever, uh, kind of start propping up more. And like, especially the mono green decks, I really hope those mono green decks start popping off a little bit because I feel like that format really needs it. But you know what? Uh, with that out of the way, let's let's open up some Core Twenty One. Now, on the last video, I kind of did like a thing where I just took uh, took like these and just put them on the back so the rare would be on the back but i'm just not going to do that because sometimes there's a foil and i'm going to mess it up and you know what it's fine Let's see uh a little thing right there tranquil cove maze mind tomb for rare number two it is a two mana artifact with put a page counter on maze mind tomb and scribe one not bad not bad but you can pay two to tap it to draw a card and when there's uh, four or more page counters, exile, gain four life. Nope, seeing this card a lot in Tron, and I really like it in Tron. 
kind of gives them away to draw cards a little bit. I mean, Tron has turned into a prison deck anyways, especially like especially the old Tron and uh, the current like Eldrazo Tron or Eldrazi Tron is starting to turn into like a prison deck too. So it's like that card right there, perfect for them. All right, yeah. Pack number three. Let's see if we can get uh, another mythic. Kind of want the one where it just ends the turn. That one's pretty cool. But all right. Planes. Well, bam. Ooh, foil kite sail freebooter. Mm, that's a good one right there. Let's get into that rare. Ooh, nine lives. Uh, I'm going to put foil right o foils right over there. It is a three mana enchantment. It has hexproof. If a source will do damage to you, prevent that damage and put an incarnation counter on nine lives. And, but when there's nine or more incar incarnation counters, exile it. And when it leaves a battlefield, you lose the game. It's not bad. Pretty good with that one card from Almond Ket, I think. The one where you can't get counters. So just pop that on the board. Pop this. You just can't die. Yeah, because creatures can't really attack you. Which is kind of funny, I guess. I mean, I would play it. It's probably like a weird Luminous Broodmoth, like, mono white or something deck that use, that wants to use this anyways. Actually, that might, that might be something. I might think about that a little bit more, actually. But right, just Uncommons, Tormont's Crypt, uh, Sanctum. Ooh. That's, per that's a pretty neat little little alternate art right there, or alternate border. You know, I really like these. Uh, I didn't like them at first, but now, you know what? It's starting to grow on me. Let's see if we have any, any more. Nope. All right, that's fine. Oh, pack number four. Another. Corset 21. All right. Come on, Mythic. Give me Mythic. Yeah. Blossoming Sands, yeah! Ooh, another foil, Turret Ogre. Pretty nice. Oh, oh got a blue card. Let's see what it is. Oh, well, bam! Oh, Shacklegeist. You know what? I'm pretty happy with this. This guy ain't too bad in a, in a Spirits build. It's a two mana, two, two. Little, little bear. Spirit bear. It has flying, and it says when this card, this card, Shackle guys can block only creatures with flying, and it has tap two untapped spirits you control, tap target creature you don't control. Pretty nice little little tempo thing going on. All right, and let's see, just uncommons. Yeah, let's see, if you've got any just neat little art doodadders? We don't. This card's fun and popper. I can't remember if it's a band or not. I might have to research research that, but I think this card got banned in Popper. Not 100%. Don't keep up with Popper all too much. Even though it's like a, one of my favorite formats ever. It's like the cheapest format. It's only commons, and it has like very powerful commons. It's almost like Light Legacy, and it's great. But anyways, let's get on to Guilds of Ravnica. Let's get that Shockland. Yeah, hopefully something other than Overgrown Tomb, because I swear, every time I open these, like, every time, I always get Overgrown Tomb. I mean, I'm not complaining. I love, you know, Overgrown Tomb in the art, but I want <laughs> something a little different, you know what I mean? But all right, let's get through these commons. Fire, Urchin, Lettive, Guardian, Disdainful Stroke, probably one of my favorite commander cards. Mana for a greater. Child of Night, Urban Utopia, Burglar Rat, Wary Okapi, is it to look Enchanted Surveillance, already showed the rare Ionize. Not a shock land, but oof. Oh, got a little fo foil. Oh. Let's see, Ionize, three mana, instant counter target spell, deals two damage to target to that spell's controller. I feel like this card was undervalued a lot in Standard. I feel like it's pretty dang good. Especially now. I mean, just like it's a free shock, and you get to counter the spell, what more could you want? Alright, well, bam, put that. Just chilling out over there. Foil, just put that over there, and token, land. Well, bam. Right, last pack. 
Well, bam. Y'all. Right. Hoping for, again, just a shock land or a mythic. Right. Sage is real servant for the uncommon. Rubble belt. Rakdos, man. Stone. Stony strength. Orzov locket. Frenzy. Ernix. Little cat beast right there. Gruel Locket, Reckoning Beast, Sentinel Courier, Ooh, Scuttler, Scuttle Gator, <laughs> Crab Turtle Crocodile. That's a, that's a creature type right there. Bam. Ooh. On Commons, got a uh, eyes everywhere. That is terrifying. My goodness. Whoa. Clan Crusher, Orzov Enforcer, and well, bam! Ooh! Shockland, Hollowed Fountain. Dang. That's a pretty good one right there. Wow. Hollowed Fountain. That's pretty. That's a good. That, that's a pretty good one. These two right there, best pulls. All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe. If you have any helpful comments, feedback, I would love to hear them. See you guys in the next one.